skyscrapers, missiles, cigars, war memorials, post boxes. All examples of the thrusting, virile, long-lasting stamina of male achievement. And all uncannily celebrating a specific part of the male body. Phallocentrism is the idea that the phallus, or the penis, is central to the human experience. Not just the phallus on its own, of course, but also that luckiest of people in the world, an owner of a phallus, a proper person, a man. Why, asked Sigmund Freud? Because obviously, it's the best part. Men know it, and women who disagree are just envious. They probably secretly wish they had one too. Why settle for a fig, he argued, when you can have a banana, or a cucumber, or a stick of salami? The actual word, phallocentrism, was coined by Welsh psychoanalyst Alfred Ernest Jones. He was a close friend and biographer of Freud, but disagreed with Freud's theory. If anything, he argued, his belief that women were so envious of men's bits revealed far more about Freud than a secret female plot. Relax, he told his friend. No woman is going to sneak up and steal your little Sigmund. So he created the phrase phallocentrism to criticise his Austrian friend's penis-based paranoia. The phrase was later picked up by feminists to articulate the experience of living in a patriarchal society and its obsession with the male view, gaze and audience. The male experience in our culture is the default, the home screen, the universal, the factory setting, they argued. In reaction to this, female artists began to create their own work that articulated the female experience and created works that celebrate the curves of the female reproductive parts. They also reclaimed earlier ancient works of art that celebrated female power. All to remind the Freudians of this world, women are perfectly happy living penis-free lives. Sometimes a cigar, is just a cigar.